Are you ready to learn how to set up your phantom web wallet so that you can transfer some Solana coins in and get started on some of those great DeFi projects that are coming up? Well, welcome in. I'm David. I'm here with CryptoTutorials.org. Uh, and today, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you as I set up a Solana wallet, I'm going to take some Solana tokens off of um, Kraken and I'm going to send them on over and load them into my wallet and get them all set. All right. And then if you want to follow on through, I'm even going to actually do a next video after this where I take some of those tokens and stake them on Radium uh, because I'm trying to to get on a new IDO and I'd like to try to get some tokens for it. But anyways, um, right now we're just going to cover the wallet portion of it. Um, do me a favor, hammer that like button, uh, tap on that subscribe button, make sure those two send a lot of signals out to Google and, and YouTube and let them know, hey, let's show these videos to a lot of people. These are quality. So if you think I did a good job with this video, um, do me that favor and, and click the buttons below uh, and let's get started. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. Seek a professional. I want to tell you about something really cool that happened to me the other day with Blockto. Uh, now, if you don't know, Blockto is a token that's coming out here in a few months and I participated in a bounty airdrop for them. Received $200 worth of the free token just for doing that bounty airdrop. But in addition, they allowed me the opportunity to buy in early on the token before it became available for the public. This is the reason airdrops are so valuable and you got to find the right ones. So do me a favor, go to getmyfreecrypto.com. I'm putting the link down below. That is where I have a $97 airdrop masterclass that I put together and I'm offering it for free, zero cost. You just give me your information. I will send you over the links. You can jump right in and learn how to get in on these airdrops where you can get early access to tokens too. Well, here we are on Solana's um, documentation website. So as we see, there's a guide on the left here and it shows Solana wallet guide. Uh, that's what I'm going through to choose from. So if you look at the bottom, you'll see both app wallets and web wallets. Uh, I do most of my DeFi work on my PC. So I think that a web wallet is much easier than doing it on my phone, but whatever you need, they're both available. Now, Phantom is the one that I have had recommended personally to me by friends. So that's the one that I'm going to be setting up today. I have no idea the quality or, you know, features that are available in any of these other wallets. Maybe down the road, I'll give them a try and set them up too. But for now, I've heard really good things about the Phantom web wallets. So that's what I'm going to be putting on my computer. We're going to set it up for Chrome. And there it is in the Chrome web store offered by Phantom, the number one Solana wallet. We're going to add this extension to Right, and I am making a brand new web wallet. Um, now, if you've had one before and you're recovering it for some reason, you just use secret recovery phrase, you put that back in, it'll recreate your wallet if you you know had a computer crash or something. But um, for someone that does not have one, you're gonna create a new wallet. And I wanna copy my secret phrase. All right, and I've got my password chosen and saved. I'm gonna agree to my terms of service. I'm going to save it. You can open the key. Oh, here you go. There's a nice keyboard shortcut if you need to open the web wallet. And I don't need to follow you on all the other new social media sites for now. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to pin that phantom web wallet in my Chrome browser right now because I know I'm going to want to access it. And there it is. It's all nicely loaded up. Now I need to deposit some um, Solana tokens and I send it from a wallet or an exchange. FTX has a lot of stuff. If you're using FTX, it looks like they got a direct integration into it. Uh, mine I have is on Kraken, so that's where I'm going to get mine from. And there it is. There's my wallet address. Let's go log into Kraken. All right, and here we are. Now we've got, uh, as you can see, I've got a little over 15 soul um, that are in my Kraken account, and I want to send this out. So if you haven't done it before, you have to add an address um, and get it confirmed in Kraken. They're a little bit uh, particular just to try to watch out for you and make sure you don't send it off to some, you know, non-existent address. So let's go back and make sure we've got our Solana wallet address copy. And I'm going to paste it into there. Oh, actually, let me paste it into here. And this is the description, so hey, 
And as part of that, I had to go in and um, do a little confirmation in my email just for them to make sure that this really was me adding a, a wallet address to um, Kraken. So now I want to do a withdrawal. So. Draw fee is 0 0.01 SOL. Right now they're about $70, so that's about 70 cents, 75 cents. So very inexpensive, um, not a whole lot to remove it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, I'm gonna send one SOL out to the wallet and make sure that that transaction goes through correctly. Actually, let's just do like the half, let's do a half. 0.5 will be 0.5. Uh, it'll charge me the same fee. I'll get 0.49 SOL, which is, you know, $35 worth or something. And then once I make sure that it's there, I'll go back in and I'll move the rest. Um, when I've gotten, when I've gotten used to a wallet and I've been using it for a little while, I never do this. I get used to the numbers and like, you know, I trust it and that, but whenever I start up with a new wallet, I always make sure to test the, the first currency exchange, or if I'm moving it out of a new exchange, if it's, if it's a process I haven't done before, basically give it a test. It's a very smart thing because if you mess it up, nobody's going to help you out. Tough luck. Okay. Anyway, so let's do a withdrawal that much. Let's continue. And oh yes, two factor. All right. Withdrawal was successfully submitted. Now we just have to see how long until we get some Solana. Now this is supposed to be a very, very fast. One of the things about Solana um, is that it's a very fast blockchain. Um, with, you know, they can handle large number of transactions per second. They're supposed to be able to handle them quite quickly. So I expect this to show up fast. While I'm waiting for this to show up, I'm just going to show you a few quick extra things in the Salon wallet. Um, first of all, already built to handle NFT collectibles. Very unusual when it comes to web wallets. Most web wallets can't do it most of the time. You have to, you know, like my, um, my MetaMask, I have some NFTs in it and I can only see them from my phone, I can't see them in my NF, in my MetaMask on my desktop. Um, and then it's got some integrations in it already for going ahead and swapping, making exchanges. It's got a list of what recent activity you've done and then your settings at the end. So pretty handy, pretty handy setup. Well, it just uh, went through my transfer. As you can see down here, my, my Kraken account, it switched to sending for the status. And when I pull up my Phantom Web Wallet, sure enough, boom, 0.49 Solana. There's the current value of my Solana, it says. So um, I'm not sure when, at what period, if that's 24 hours, probably. Dude, that sounds about right with what's been going on lately. Anyways, so that's it. That's all that it takes to set up a Solana wallet um, and to get the currency in there. Now I'm gonna hop on to Radium and kick up some Ray token and um, get my Ray token staked and ready for the upcoming um, Star Atlas IDO. I'm gonna try to see if I can get in on uh, the Star Atlas IDO. But anyways, I'm excited. I've got this part done. If you have any questions along the way, it's a pretty straightforward process, but feel free to comment down below. Um, I'd be glad to answer them. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful day. Uh, tap that like, tap that subscribe if you didn't haven't done it yet. Helps out a ton, and I wish you guys a great evening. Aloha.